Hi, this is Ben Sullins, and today I'm going to preview for you my new course on Data Analysis Fundamentals with Tableau. In this course, I walk you through an introduction to Tableau, all the different features and functions it has. We get dirty with our data, we connect to some data sources, we add a metadata layer on top of it, we create hierarchies, do fun stuff like that. I walk through visualizing your data in this section called Show Me the Data, and all the visual techniques that Tableau supports. We go through an exercise of adding intelligence to our dashboards and our views by creating calculations, metrics, window functions like rolling averages, those kind of things. I talk about painting the whole picture in that section on dashboarding where I pull in data from different data sources and combine it into a single view to give our users a holistic picture of what's going on with the analysis we're trying to do. And lastly, I go through sharing your work. Tableau has things like a desktop reader tool to now a cloud-based server platform that you can use, and I cover and demonstrate how to use all of those. So for this preview, I'm going to have a little fun. It's a section on advanced charting that's included in the course, and in it, we're going to test Pareto's law. Now, Pareto's law is the 80-20 rule, and the theory is, is that 80% of X are generated by 20% of Y. So to test this, first I'm going to open Tableau. And in Tableau here, I'm going to connect to my Superstore Sales Excel data set. This is the one that ships with Tableau, so you should be able to follow along. And from here, we want to test what percentage of our customers generate what percentage of our profit. So let's look at this first. We basically want to see profit by customer. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag profit onto columns. I'm going to drag customer onto rows. Swap this around. Sort this. And now I have basically in a descending fashion the customers that generate the most profit on the left to the ones that generate the least on the right. So we're getting there. Now what I want to see is instead of an actual amount, I want to see a running total. So I'm going to go down and say, give me a running total. And I'm actually going to further advance this by adding a secondary calculation, which does a percentage of total. So it does a running percent of total, if you will. And for what to base this on, I'm going to base it on customer. I'll explain that in a second. Okay, we're getting there. And now I'm actually going to say fit this entire view. So basically, we're getting closer. We have our percent of that we're trying to test for um, in our y-axis. Now we need to, instead of showing individual customers, show a percent of customers. We can figure out what percentage of our customers are generating 80% of our revenue. So in order to get the percentage of customers across the bottom, what I need to do is first extract this data because I need to use a function called count distinct. And my database here, Excel, doesn't support that. Most databases do not. Some of the newer analytical uh, platforms do. Um, but luckily for us, Tableau has this function where we can extract this data. And this actually creates a local copy of it. And it also gives us this columnar data store, which adds a lot of more analytical functions for us. So now I've extracted that data. It did save it locally. Uh, it was a small data set, so it might have been too fast to catch there. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to drag, right-click and drag customer up to my column shelf. And I'm going to say, give me count distinct. So look kind of funky for a second. I'm going to drag customer off my shelf because I just need it to be a level of detail for my view now. And now what I'm going to do is give me a running total. And then just like before, I'm going to base it on customer. Hit apply. That gets me closer to my whale chart. I'm going to do the same thing. Give me a percentage of total. I'm going to base it on customer. Hit apply. And we actually have it. I'm going to change this to bars instead of this little. And then I'm going to color by profit. So we're getting there. And we now have all the functions and all the form that we need to test this. On the bottom, we have a percentage of count distinct of our customers, which allows us to figure out what percentage of customers are generating what amount of profit. The last thing really to do here are to add some reference lines. So I can go ahead and just right click on an axis and say, for the entire table, give me a constant 0.8. And hit apply. You can see it labeled it right there at 80%. And I'm going to add a reference line on the bottom. This time, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a parameter. I'm going to create a new parameter here called percent of customers. It's going to be 0.2. I can format this as a percentage if I'd like. Hit OK. Don't want to label. Hit Apply. 
And now I can actually just change this guy here. So I can actually just type this in. So you can see what's happening is it's not quite 80-20. So the 80-20 rule doesn't totally hold up for our analysis here. I'm gonna add some zoom controls. Click on my little square. I'm just gonna zoom in so I can get a closer view of this here. And you can see it's much closer to 18.49. So if I were to go up here and do 0.1849, should move the reference line and we're almost there close enough for now so I'd have to go edit this parameter I'm gonna give it a couple decimal places since we're getting very specific here and I can just kinda of keep moving this guy 18.4 18.2 18.3 18, so we're getting there so with this, what I'm able to do is test Pareto's law using an extract, which gives me a count distinct, using several table calculations, which are compounded by the fact that we're doing multiple table calculations across a dimension of customer. And we're using a parameter to allow our users to actually input uh, some, some control into the view here. This is one of the advanced features and advanced charting options that I cover in the course. And uh, so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you uh, take time to uh, have some fun with your data using Tableau. Thanks so much.